Hello everyone, my name is Julia Seeger. I'm a tech science and health journalist for the international TV station France 24. And I'm also the godmother of an association called La Vie en Rose, which was founded by Manuela Hachet and which helps women develop a bulletproof mindset, but also dream bigger and dare the impossible. So I've now leveraged science and technology in my career, but this is not how the story started. I studied in the United States and in France, and at least here in France, the educational system is quite tough. I wasn't good in math, and most of my teachers told me throughout my studies that I just wouldn't make anything good of my life. So I started studying more history, geography, languages, literature, and I went on to do um, a master's in international relations at NYU and Sciences Po. And I became a journalist because I was just so curious that I needed to be able to investigate lots of different topics. And then an opportunity came up one day, this show called Tech 24, uh, they needed a presenter. So I, I sent in my application and I started geeking on all of these videos and discovering all of these topics having to do with space, with uh, technology, innovation, cybersecurity, health. And I just discovered this whole new playground uh, you know, that I hadn't really in investigated yet. And I thought it was just mind boggling. I think there are many different types of barriers. It can indeed come from your sex and gender. It can also uh, come from your family or from the workplace or the society you live in. So there are many external factors, but there are also, and I think it's important to stress this, a lot of internal factors, internal barriers that we create for ourselves. And at least for me, I think this was the main obstacle in my life, what I had set up myself to do and what I deemed possible for myself to do. So it took me a while uh, to kind of figure that out. And also, I, I think I was very scared of succeeding and whether or not I was going to be able to find the right balance between my family life and my work life. So it took me a while to kind of find peace with that and try things on the ground to then be able to see what I was capable of doing. And it's only with time and by acting on the ground that I was able to get rid of, of these internal uh, uh, obstacles and just go for it. The main advice that I have today was originally given to me by an 80 year old man who now lives in Africa. I was very fortunate to meet him because he's a very wise man and here is some of his advice. The first advice uh, is to try to list your strengths, your weaknesses, your fears, take a good look at them and realize that none of it actually exists. It's an illusion and none of it should ever hold you back from doing what you want to do. The second advice is get rid of all the negative people who are around you. Negative thinking people will never elevate you, but they will always put you down. And what's worse is that if you succeed, they, they tend to not be able to celebrate your victory with you and rejoice. The fourth advice uh, would be to try to realize how important failures are. Failures are a lever and they need to help you rebound. In the short run, you may see it and experience it as a failure, but in the long run, you'll always see why it was so important that you live through it. The fourth advice that I have is to try to dare what's impossible. You can, of course, wish for something that's possible, but you will get to that point eventually. And then you won't feel that excitement and that satisfaction of having tried something you deemed impossible for yourself. So my main advice is reach for the stars.